this is an item I will be refashioning. It's an item that I've had for a while. I usually wear it with jeans. And at this time of the year, it's now autumn. I go through my autumn clothing and see what I would usually give away to a charity shop. I don't really give that much to a charity shop. Keep my clothes for many, many years. And um, so I came across this item. It's like I haven't worn it for a, a long time. So, and I usually wear it with jeans and I belt it in and reach up the sleeves. Look, so I decided that I'm going to add some sleeves to it. And these are tailored sleeves, a two piece sleeve that I had from a previous project. I put an image here of the project that I actually removed these sleeves from. So I'm still using a lot of things that I have left over from previous projects. So that is the case with these sleeves. So I'm going to remove these sleeves and add those sleeves into this cardigan jacket just to chuss it up and give it a new look. So let's get started. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Let's get straight into the video. So now I am going to remove the sleeve. I'm going to, I'm not going to cut. The main reason is that I don't need to because there's a nice finished edge to the armhole as well as to the sleeve itself. And you don't want to um, be removing that if at all possible. So if you have that kind of nice finish, keep it, do not cut. Um, if you cut, what can happen is sometimes is that the arm oil becomes bigger and you don't want to do that. Um, but I'll share with you towards the end if that is the case about how you can control the stretch of, of a knit in this situation. So where am I going to start? I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can have a look at what I'm going to, where I'm going to start and how I'm going to unpick this seam. So what I'm going to do is put my seam ripper into the seam, find that stitch. Just go gently, you don't want to cut into the fabric. And it's a case of just feeling, yeah, there we go. Feeling that it's actually cut the strand, the actual thread, and then just keep gently going around. It's going to be so hot. It really is so hard to find it on the sides here. I think this is going to be the best option. And it's just a case of just gently going around and then cutting the thread. So that's what I've removed the sleeves. Now it needs the new sleeves. So here is the jacket sleeve and it is small, I can tell by looking than the actual armhole to this. So this is going to have to shrink somehow. But let's just see how we're going to fit this in. So we're going to have to make sure that the back goes towards the back of the garment. So this is a sleeve where the buttons are. and then pin it in place. So we're going to have a notch that should be here, yeah. At the shoulder of the sleeve in the jacket sleeve. I'm matching that with the shoulder on here. This little, there we go. And get my pins. Let me first just show you and then get the kind of centre of the no it's not notched. Okay. So centre's roughly there. Put a pin here and then match it up with the side seam here. Mm 
now it is yeah it is it is bigger so it will be a case actually it's quite fitting on this side it's just the front is going to be a little bit of an issue let's just put a couple of pins in just to see how much I need to reduce yeah the the that fits quite snugly yeah that's fine yep so it's going to be a little bit more ease to the front let's quickly show you that I'll show you how I'm going to reduce that ease as well yeah it's quite a bit there so there will be a little bit of a tuck to the front let's see if I put it that way you can ease us a bit more into the lower part of the armor which you don't necessarily do because you want the fullness to be around the curved part of the sleeve which is the shoulder area no it's going to be too much no i won't be able to do that so the best thing to then do the back is fine that fits in okay i can ease just a little bit of that into the top part of the sleeve that's okay but there's just too much on this side so the best thing for me to do is just do one row of stitching uh, gathered an easing stitch so that I can see if I can reduce as much as this as I possibly can and then make sure that whatever is too much fullness is going to be at the top of the sleeve yeah that is what I'll do I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. Not only that, along with those videos of refashioning, I also have lots of sewing techniques on my channel so you don't have to go anywhere else in order to complete your project. Let's get back to the video. I've sewn a gathered stitch on the front part of the jacket and then I'm going to just gently pull try and get most of that fullness to the shoulder area like that yeah that should be okay and then I'll be ready to put in this sleeve so there we have the sleeve, so I'm going to get the centre of the sleeve, there's a notch, I'm going to match that notch with the shoulder seam and then pin it into place. Now it's ready to be sewn in. I do have a video tutorial on how to sew in a setting sleeve, so I'll link that in the description. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then sew it into place. The sleeve is now sewn in. This is the back. As you can see, there's no puckering happening anywhere. And the front. And I repeated it on the other sleeve as well. That looks really gorgeous okay so on to the final stage which is going to be some hand sewing and 
basically it's a case of getting the lining let's see the best way to do this which I'm going to put the sleeve back in to make sure the lining is not twisted okay so I get the armhole like this and then I place the top part of the sleeve lining onto the shoulder seam and place pins and then I'm going to slip stitch the lining to the armhole of this cardigan jacket go all the way around keeping with the original seam and just placing it on top like so then putting pins in place and go all the way around And there we go. All you need to do now is just hand sew that into place. I have my needle and thread and then I just go into the seam, I put a knot at the end and I'm going to slip stitch this into place. completed my hand sewing and this is the right side it looks gorgeous doesn't it transformed my old jacket into a new one and that looks nice it really does let me show you the inside all nice and professional nice clean finished edges and now all I need to do is try it on Okay, time for the fit. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That is, yeah, that is nice. I'll put my hand in the other one. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. I'll, I'll, um, I usually do wear it without with it and do wear it with jeans but no that's a good setting sleeve that really is let me just show you the back if anything I probably would put shoulder pads in yeah shoulder pads maybe I mean it can you can add to shoulder pads if you wish um, maybe detachable shoulder pads, but no, I like it. And yeah, I would put a belt with that, be nice with a belt. Yeah, and that's how I've always worn it really. When, I, when it had its original sleeves, I always cross it over and belt it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that is a good refashion. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to share some tips with you and give you some advice. If you are going to tackle this, do remember that as you are picking, do not pull or stretch at the armhole because that will misshape it and you don't want that to happen because it will create that, the armhole to be bigger than what you need it to be. Do the same trick that I did where you find that your sleeve is smaller, the sleeve that you're attaching onto the jacket is going to be smaller. You can always make the armhole of a, particularly a knit a bit smaller. It's possible to do it with woven as well. Um, 
as I did I showed you that trick so it's it, and, and as you can tell at the end result it doesn't look as though there's any puckering in there and um, just make sure that it isn't a huge amount that you need to ease into the sleeve and then you you get a successful outcome like how I did if you're finding that it is stretching then just put a strip of interfacing all the way around the armhole that will give it stability that will make it a little bit more firmer and also help reduce the stretching of the armhole as well definitely pin and base particularly if you are new to doing this type of um, technique i will link a video um, in the description in order to show you how to sew in a set in sleeve which this is it doesn't matter if it's a two-piece sleeve or a one-piece sleeve the video will still be relevant uh, is there anything else no there isn't it's quite an easy project to do um as you know i always encourage you to do the hand stitching because you want that professional look you want that look that gives it um a finished look and also it gives it helps to put it uh, at a level where it's designer and i would definitely consider practicing your hand stitching and like i said i'll put all the links to sewing techniques that are on my channel in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video